I made enclosures out of these five containers and decorative elements to house some new spiders I collected over the course of the past few months. And now, the future inhabitants must be added. The first candidate is a lynx spider sling, an arboreal spider of the family Oxyopidae. It's molted as well. Utilizing a thin leaf, I tore through the spider's web retreat and coaxed the spider out of its vial. These guys are capable of jumping and bolting, but thankfully I managed to close the lid on time. First one down. Here, a black house spider or a black window spider or of the family Decide. This flower for it to web it up they are so named as they are commonly found in human homes, making these tangled tunnel webs around window panes. I included this flower for it to web it up. All I had to do was unscrew the lid of its original This was the easiest rehouse ever. All I had to do was unscrew the lid of its original container and place it atop its new enclosure. Too easy. Jumping spider. I love jumping spiders as they have a very curious personality, like mine. Personality, like mine. Although that is why they can be uncooperative during a rehouse. It went all around my hands to eventually get it inside. To eventually get it inside. There. A fine addition to my collection. I tapped its container onto its ankle. This one was much more cooperative as well as a younger specimen. I tapped its container to make to slow down their falling. And now comes the final rehouse of this video. And now comes the final rehouse of this video. I was really tense for this as this involves so molted. Why so tense, you may ask? Well, they are extremely fast runners when it comes to where they land up. And are unpredictable when it comes to where they land up. Closure, coax it out with a pencil and boarding and jumping onto my leg and off. It scurried into a water and... crevice. Time I will close the enclosure for a while Ooh. before once again taking out the vial. After containing it once again, I proceeded to do the same thing, except this time I will close the enclosure for a while before once again taking out the vial. As I've mentioned before, I will record and compile a feeding video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the third and sigh of relief, final time. I hope you guys enjoyed the rehouse. Be sure to like and subscribe to ABSE. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.